Hello and welcome to another Nihongo Gamer video. This is the Parblo in Tangbo graphic drawing tablet. And what that means is that you can use a pen to use your drawing skill to do some digital art, but you don't actually have a screen on the tablet. This is just a big slab of plastic that you draw and it sends your hand motions into the computer. The main reason you might want to buy something like this is that one, it's cheaper than buying a tablet with a massive screen on it, but two, it means that you can sit with a good posture with your hands down here and your face on the, looking at the screen directly like this. So if you have to do something like art or photo editing for many hours during the day, you might actually prefer to use a tablet like this and as a benefit, it's cheaper. Let's take it out of the box. It does the really exciting Apple thing where the product kind of shumps out of the box. We don't need the box anymore. And this is the tablet. Look at that, lilac purple. This one costs $73. It's a bit of a strange price. And as you can see, you actually get quite a large drawing surface, which means that when you want to do big motions, you can basically do what you might normally do on an A4 piece of paper in landscape. It might be a little bit smaller than A4, obviously 10 by 6.25 inches. What is that in millimeters? Uh, brain. What I really want to test is something I saw on the official promotional video for this product. It's the ability to roll the pen until it just falls into this little groove here. So let's try it just fell straight off. All right, it's not actually magnetic. I thought maybe it was magnetic, but there's a little groove for you to place the pen when you're not using it. Unfortunately, the pen is not lilac in color. Now, what I really wanted to show you was this. Check out this dial here. I was not aware before they sent it to me that this was a physical dial. This thing actually rotates. So you'll know how many zoom levels you've actually zoomed in as opposed to some of those like touch dials and all important connectivity. This is just a standard USB-C port. You get some stickers when you buy it. Don't need them. Manual, don't need that. Quick start guide, don't need that. Ah, this is quite nice. I'm probably just gonna be using this to clean my glasses. Thanks, Pablo. You also get the PR01. <laughs> Looks like the same standard glove that you get from every graphics drawing tablet maker, helping your hand glide over this slightly tactile surface, but it does feel like your hand is wearing underpants. This USB-C cable has an angled cable. It runs straight up the side of the device towards your computer. So it's time to actually draw something on it, and I'm quite excited because I haven't had a tablet like this for a long time. It's really useful to have this on the side of your desk if you're using mostly keyboard and mouse for all the other stuff that you do, and then when you just need to do like some Photoshop for a thumbnail of something, or maybe you're editing a small diagram or annotating something, you just need this on the side. You just need to whip this, whip this. Out, out, plug it into the USB-C, draw something, then put it away again. All right, so spent some time with the Parblo in Tangbo, and here are my thoughts on this drawing tablet with no screen attached. Now, for the past few years, I've mostly been drawing on things like iPads or the Wacom Mobile Studio Pro, which are basically computers where you can draw directly on the screen. So I haven't actually used a tablet like this for quite some time, but I don't necessarily think you're at a disadvantage if you use this kind of tablet. In fact, I think there are many advantages to using it. And one of the main ones, of course, is the fact that you have better posture while you're drawing, you're looking directly at your screen. However, coming back to a tablet like this, having not drawn on one for a long time, I did notice that it takes a lot of getting used to. I had to draw for hours before I could remember to get my hand to draw in a a curved line that would actually reflect the curved line I was trying to draw on the screen. Usually if I draw an angle at 45 degrees, sometimes on the screen it'll come out at like 35 or 30 degrees. So you have to kind of rewire your brain to use a tablet like this if you're not used to it. That being said, if you're new to digital art, then maybe this won't be a problem for you because you won't be used to drawing on a tablet with a screen. And so you can jump straight in and set up is nice and easy. You just plug the USB-C cable into a USB-A port on your computer using the supplied cable. You download the driver and essentially the whole thing works immediately apart from if you're using on a Mac. If you're using a modern Mac with a more recent operating system, you have to go into your settings and give the tablet specific access to 
input logging and like an accessibility feature, but that's pretty par for the course for any drawing tablet on a Mac these days. Once you're in the software, you have a number of options to customize it, but essentially you can jump straight into drawing and it's pretty much what you would expect. You put the pen on the surface, you drag and you get a line. As advertised, it does have 8,192 levels of pressure sensitivity and you can test in these settings. You can actually push harder and more lightly and actually test out the range of pressure sensitivity that you have access to. The drawing surface on the tablet is nice and paper-like but not too scratchy so if you're just doing simple painting stuff where you're scraping the pen back and forth nice and quickly then you won't feel like you're rubbing the plastic away from the nib too quickly or anything it's not really abrasive and one thing that you do find with any digital tablet is that when you draw a straight diagonal line you have to watch how the tablet manages its upward and sideward movement because sometimes it'll be really jaggedy it'll go up left up left up left instead of going like an actual smooth diagonal line. In real world actual drawing, I found that it was pretty much acceptable, though you will notice if you draw a straight diagonal line that it does wiggle back and forth. But most of the time when you're drawing at a regular speed, you don't really notice too much of the jitter. So compared to other similarly priced tablets, I would say that it's not much more jittery or less jittery than the competition. What I will say is that there were a number of things that kind of took me by surprise. Now the first one I want to point out is the line weight. Although it does have a large range of pressure sensitivity, the way that it accesses that curve is a little bit strange. If you push lightly and then you push hard, you will find a point where it very suddenly balloons out into like the maximum pressure sensitivity that it has access to. And if you push lightly and even more gradually, then eventually it will reach its maximum, but its maximum won't be as high as the maximum that it reached before. In a real world application, what you can expect to see is that your lines will be pretty nice and uniform at the lower levels, but then when you push a little bit harder, it will just sort of balloon out very suddenly into a much larger brush that you weren't expecting to see. Now you can edit the pressure curve to try and mitigate this problem, but it doesn't actually seem to change too much. And here's the reason. It's a little bit difficult to demonstrate, but it's kind of difficult to know when it's going to balloon out to a larger size. Normally, if you're pushing lightly and then you're pushing harder and harder and harder, if it very gradually reaches its maximum point. But I find it very difficult with this particular tablet to know when this point is going to happen, when it's going to just blow out. And I think part of the reason is that the amount of pressure that you can apply to this pen is not very much. Let's say that when you push lightly on the pen, you're applying maybe 20 grams of weight to the pen, right? When you push harder, you might be pushing maybe with 200 or 300 grams of pressure. But on other tablet pens that I've tried, I feel like you have a much wider range of amounts of pressure that you can push with on the pen. So light, medium, heavy, and very heavy. But on this tablet, I feel like I've got light, medium, and kinda heavy. I can't really push heavy or very heavy on this pen. So if you are very, very light with your pen strokes, then you may never notice this because you're never really pushing that hard and you never really get to that point where the pen blows out in weight. But even just compared to an analog drawing with a, a normal pencil, with the amount of pressure that you might push on a pencil to push hard and get a darker line, I feel like you can't even push that hard on this tablet. It's really only concentrated in the very light end of the pressure spectrum on this pen. You can kind of change your curve on the pen so it's a little bit more, instead of straight like this, you can have the curve a little bit more like this, where it just sort of tails off halfway through. But in a way, you'll be kind of taking advantage of less of the range of movement from the pen. But getting this curve right is a little bit tricky and it still does kind of balloon out a little bit suddenly in my opinion. Now, one thing I wanna talk about is tilt support on this pen. On the box, it says tilt support up to 60 degrees plus or minus. So I should be able to, while drawing, I should be able to tilt the pen like this. But the only way I could actually get any tilt to come out was when you use something like direction of pen to change the angle. But if you actually set it over here to change it with pen tilt, then as you can see, no matter what I do to the angle of this pen, it does not change the tilt. One thing that is curious is when you use direction of pen to change the tilt, why is it so erratic? When I'm only going in a single direction, you know, I'm going diagonal up and to the right, it's like the direction is constantly changing between 
up and left, up or up and right, up and right, up and right, and it can't really decide what direction it's going in. And that's probably down to the way that it handles diagonal movement, which is kind of one of the main things that you need to search for when you're looking at these pen tablets, is how does it handle its angular movement. I think finally the only thing I want to talk about is the shortcut keys on this tablet. There are eight of them, so it's quite convenient to be able to change the shortcuts, but when I was on my Mac, when you want to set up a custom gesture, so something like I use shift space or control space or alt space to do things like rotation or to zoom into the canvas. For some reason on the Mac version of the driver, it doesn't let you set things like shift space or control space because it thinks that shift space is being set to something else. And so you need to find that option from the drop down list. Unfortunately, when you go through the drop down list, shift space and control space don't seem to exist anywhere. So I can't set it myself and I can't choose it from the options. And so I just wasn't able to set shift space or control space, which are like the main things that I use for canvas movement. So that was kind of frustrating on the Mac version of the software. It does seem to work on the PC version though. So don't know what's going on there. I really like the jog dial though. I love that it's got little click stops because you know exactly how many times you've zoomed. It's like I've zoomed in this much or click, 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 or click, 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 or click, 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 click. I, it's, it's nice to have actual feedback from the dial so you know kind of how far around the circle you've gone because a five degree or ten degree turn you can't really feel that in your hand if you don't have the clicks you just know that you've slightly rolled a dial and you can set the dial to do other things as well finally one more thing i want to point out about this pen is that it doesn't have an eraser at the top now a lot of these lower price tablets don't have an eraser and you just press a button or an express key to switch to the eraser and you just erase with the tip of the pen but Coming from analog, I personally have always loved being able to flip my pencil over and erase with the back of it. Obviously can't do that with a paintbrush, but I like being able to flip the pen over and use the eraser. But not having an eraser, it's not the end of the world. iPad, even the newest iPad, Apple Pencil, it still doesn't have an eraser on the back. You have to like press a button to switch the tip to be an eraser instead. So really apart from that, no other complaints. It's easy to plug in. You only need one cable. You've got a battery free cordless pen that you can draw with. I think it's a little bit strange that the blinds kind of blow out too quickly and so you have to set the curve to not use the top end of the spectrum because it kind of explodes into a large thick brush when you kind of least expect it. So I wasn't too keen on that, but you can change the curve to slightly mitigate that. It says there's tilt support, but clearly it doesn't actually have tilt support, so I don't know what's going on there. It's purple. I don't know if that affects whether you're going to buy this tablet or not. Definitely one of my favorite features was the click stops on the zoom. It's nice and smooth. I can zoom in and out. I know exactly how much I've zoomed in and out. Software is a little bit incomplete on the Mac version. I couldn't actually set the shortcuts that I wanted to, so that was a little bit frustrating. But apart from that, nothing else else to say apart from if you draw on a tablet without a screen, you're crazy because I just could not get used to it again. I've been drawing on tablets with screens for so long that getting back into using a tablet like this is really difficult for me. But again, in the industry, plenty of people, I'm sure that more than half the people who draw for you know their work. I'm sure they use tablets like this because they don't want to be staring and breaking their neck and looking down at the screen all the time. So I understand, I just, I think you're all crazy. If you'd like to see other videos on reviews for gear like these tablets or tablets that have screens, I've got plenty of them on the channel, so do check them out. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, like the video and be sure to leave a comment. If you want to actually get into doing some drawing, we have a weekly art prompt on the Nihongo Gamer Discord, which is our online community, plenty of us on there every week using the prompt to kind of motivate us to actually do some drawing because I'm certainly one of those people who can easily go months at a time without drawing anything. So if you want a reason to draw and some motivation and a bunch of other people who are also doing it, join us on the Nihongo Gamer Discord. And that is pretty much it from me. So I'll see you all in the next Nihongo Gamer video and or stream.